So I also would like to show you uh, a different uh, different type of association, or at least we're going to discuss it today, is uh, the different type of uh, association is called aggregation, right? So first we said association, which is pretty weak and, uh, you know, just does this access from one thing to another. Uh, composition, which is uh, a much stronger, right? In composition situation, we say that, oh, you absolutely have to construct this uh, part in order to be able to construct the whole, right? Uh, so the third thing that we're going to talk about today is aggregation. Aggregation. And this aggregation is actually very similar. Two classes are related and know about each other. However, the diamond is not filled just basically an, an empty diamond as opposed to a uh, field. So this, is, this type of relationship is aggregation. So let's talk about this. So again, I will save this uh, copy that we talked about the uh, uh, composition type of relationship as uh, demo number two today. Demo number two. Uh, and then, um, uh, we will uh, demonstrate this composition. And this is what I'm going to modify in this demo. First of all, it's, it's a little silly right now that we have a house with a single room. How can I make a house with variable number of rooms, which will be pretty much the thing to to, to accept and, and make it the most usable uh, type of uh, thing. Most likely, I need a collection of rooms. And remember, I told you last week, we would like to use vector uh, in C++ or array list in Java anytime we need a general purpose uh, sequence type of collection. Basically, a collection of multiple instances of, of something. So here we're going to say instead of room, we're going to say uh, std uh, vector, okay? And this will be a vector of rooms, just like this, okay? A vector of rooms, and we're going to name it um, Uh, I guess rooms. I'll just switch over to plural uh, type of uh, type of declaration. Now um, I no longer need this constructor at all because I'm going to get rid of this constructor. Because guess what? Um, most likely I will construct the house with empty vector of rooms. And remember, like in math, in in software, vector sequence. Uh, are very very similar type of type of ideas, right? So basically, we have a list of objects. Each single one of them will be a room, okay? And we will be constructing. Uh, so so now this vector class, ve uh, this vector object, is going to be managing our rooms. Let's try to imagine the the possibilities with uh, with this aggregation or idea that we're trying to discuss. So supposedly we create a house, right? So now we don't need this parameter at all because uh, all we have to say is this, just create a house object, right? An object um, has default constructor. The default constructor uh, is given to the object for free. We don't have to modify anything. The house can be constructed with an empty set of rooms or empty sequence of rooms or empty vector of rooms, okay? And if we do something like this, uh, what we create, so when we say house, 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 we declare this object. When it gets created, right, the object gets created. But internally, 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 it contains this vector of rooms, right? So the room vector is another object stored somewhere inside our our class, right? So this is this is the house object, but internally it it contains this uh, vector, right? So the vector is inside. 
Then what we can do is that we can say, uh, well, to make it, uh, to make it, you know, purposeful, uh, let's say void add uh, add room, add room, and of course we need to provide the area, right? So double uh, area for that room we need to provide. Okay, so let's let's do that. Uh, and um, mm, uh, let's see if we if we want to. Well, I'll just uh, try uh, try basically this uh, do nothing implementation first. And let, let me try try building this. So when we build, um, uh, so this so far the syntax is okay, but what I'm going to do is that I'm going to say. Um, uh, let's have our vector of rooms and we're going to use pushback which is a very popular type of operation with vectors and of course we're going to create a room okay and uh, this is like an anonymous object that I'm creating and I'm going to construct it with an, with a specific area okay so I'm just going to call uh, rooms constructor, uh, pass this area parameter that, that this add room uh, uh, function gets, and try to construct the room. Uh, so let's um, then say house, right? House dot add room, and we're going to pass the area of the room. Again, I will use a 100 uh, first time. And the second time, I can use um, uh, 200, just to make uh, make uh, make it look uh, different, right? So I can do this, uh, or at least I'm planning to do something like that. Again, so this is add room. So typically, you know, the method, uh, the methods or functions are re written like this. So today, you know, I'm just trying to save some space, but I still have have space to to arrange it in more more conventional. Uh, you know, type of type of uh, uh, formatting for you. So let's build this and see what the what the compiler thinks about this whole arrangement. So far, so good. So it works, right? So it works, and I can add room and everything. Uh, and um, if I wanted to say, um, so once again to save space, I will do something like this, right? Just put it on one single line because there's only one. Uh, statement uh, a vector pushback uh, function call to add brand new room um, to this to this house. Okay, so before well, before I add another uh, similar method, which basically double uh, get area, right? Uh, if I wanted to call something like get area, this should compute, right? Uh, basically compute. Uh, the entire area of the house, supposedly, because each room stores an area parameter, right? But before we complete this uh, this operation, get area for the entire house, like for instance, we could have done std uh, c out and say uh, uh, total area is and basically print what it is right just basically print uh, house house dot uh, get area right uh, and then display new line symbol right? new line character right there and uh, I can even make it compilable if I say um, a return uh, z uh, zero point zero, right? So this is yet to be implemented, but at least I'm returning a double value from this get area, right? So if I wanted to build it, I build it, and uh, that that's what's happening here. Okay, so uh, so this is the code, but let's examine uh, what happens in memory when we when we try using this brand new house with the flexible number of rooms that we can actually add rooms and perhaps we could modify rooms if we wanted to and so forth, right? So we started with an idea that we create this um, this object house, right? So we, we create this house object, but its vector is empty to begin with. But then we begin to add rooms and obviously when we add rooms, the rooms 
uh, the rooms are created, right? So, so somewhere in memory, uh, rooms are populated and we create a couple of rooms like this and a each single one of them had this area parameter inside, right? So area, the double area that we populate with 100 and 200, right? So I can basically say here, uh, this contains like uh, 100 and this contains 200 and we create these two rooms. And guess what? Somehow this vector is managing this array of rooms in memory. So the vector is really a helper object or collection object, which essentially is a manager of this memory. Okay? All right. So, uh, but then let me make an observation. So in memory, those rooms are created somewhere in memory, but the vector is managing and keeps track of the location of these two rooms. And we only contain a vector object, which is basically the manager, right? So essentially, we can say that vector in our world is the same as memory, memory manager object, right? Uh, because it, it helps us to uh, to object, right? So it helps us to avoid doing hard work managing this memory, allocating, deallocating, new memory, delete memory, all this. Everything is done within the vector. All we have to say is that we would like to have this vector of room objects. And as you can see, my compiler is pretty happy to give it to me. Okay? All right. So in this situation, again, this is very much like association, right? So this is bidding, uh, this is getting close to being an association because you can see this arrow that essentially a vector somewhere internally has the pointer to this memory area where these two objects are located, perhaps next to each other. Actually, vector guarantees that they will be next to each other in memory. And this is similar to association. But let me make a quick observation. If this house object gets destroyed, goes out of scope, which happens pretty much when we return and this closing brace uh, for the main function uh, finishes the function scope, as soon as the local variables, by the way, house here is a local variable inside main, right? So as soon as main is over and we return, the house will be destroyed. Its destructor function will be invoked specifically for the vector, and clearly this vector of rooms will be also going out of scope. So with this situation, we make this observation that as soon as this object is destroyed, right? As soon as, uh, as, soon as this house object is destroyed, these two rooms will also be destroyed. So just like in composition situation, the life cycles of rooms and this house are somewhat related. I mean, really kind of closely related because uh, with the ending of the lifetime of the house, the lifetime of these rooms is, is also ending because the vector will guarantee that, you know, as soon as, uh, as soon as uh, as soon as, as this object is destroyed and the vector is destroyed, these two also will be destroyed. And therefore, we have this situation that is most likely uh, is uh, uh, similar to aggregation. Basically, it says that uh, with the filled diamond, which was the composition, with the composition, the life cycles were the same of both objects basically the whole and the part object. Uh, but uh, um, uh, but uh, in aggregation, this is weakened by the fact that the there is no longer physical containment, but the life cycles are very much related. And uh, when, uh, when the house goes away, the, uh, uh, the rooms also go away. So we would refer to this as aggregation. So the, those, those are the three levels, right? So this is the weakest, right? The, the, the association is the weakest association. The composition is the strongest association because it's physical containment. And aggregation is no longer physical containment, but very similar life cycles. 
and this is this is what these uh, filled diamond and 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 empty or hollow uh, diamond indicate. 